Matthias Ringer with Guitar Control and today you're going to be learning this really cool groove and pattern. As usual, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for daily guitar lessons and there's a link in the description so make sure you click on it or tap on it to download the tab. Let's get down to it. So I'm going to start by playing this at a slower speed. progression and uh, I, the pattern is very interesting because it's combining a little bit of a lick with slides it's also combining uh, chords with melody without without stopping without without removing the chords right because like sometimes when we play chord melodies we like stop playing the chords and it sounds empty but this one combines it's more of like an arpeggio but we're actually playing it with the pick we're not like <laughs> I like playing with fingers or like arpeggiating each note. It's more like a chord and lick at the same time. So what I would like to do, I would like to start off with this one. With that part. Which is very, very interesting. So what I'm playing here, I'm playing an interval of a fourth, which is a distance, a specific distance between two notes. So a fourth, a perfect fourth, has five uh, half steps in between the two notes. So let's say I'm here and I do five half steps equal f also like the amount of fret. So one, two, uh, so I go like this is one half step, two, three, four, five. So that will be my fourth. Right? And I'm playing it all over. So what I'm doing, I start like, I start here and I am on the 11th fret of the third string and 12th fret of the second string. And I just slide that up two frets above and then I bring it down to the same two frets so it ends up on the 13 and the 14 right and then back and then I go down so that the index is on the 8th fret and the middle finger is on the 9th fret and I from there I put this and I slide it up to the original one that we had here that was 11 and 12 and back so we got Then I go down, so my index is on the fourth fret, and the ping and the middle finger is on the fifth fret. By the way, this is still on the third and second string. And I just slide it two frets up, so it comes down to the uh, six and seven. So, and when I'm doing this, you can totally like do either like the same notes but muted before, like. Or you can do the fourth muted, which it might be a little bit harder. It's up to you what you use for muted, but you can just do like all the chords, you know. Like. And then when you finish, you play the sixth fret of the fourth string, and then you go into this part. So what I do for this, I am playing. Six uh, string. I am playing it the six string twice on this. I'm playing actually a B. Let's describe the chord first. That's going to be. In fact, let's play the chords first, and then we're going to play what I'm doing. Okay, that's going to be easy. For the first chord, we got the B major index finger all across the seventh fret. Then I got ring finger on the ninth fret of the fifth, pinky finger on the ninth fret of the fourth, and middle finger on the eighth fret of the third. The next chord. It's just basically moving these two frets and removing the middle finger. And that's our C sharp minor, right? And then we go back to this one, the B major. And then what we do is we bring it down one, two, three frets and remove this one again, the middle. And that's our G sharp minor. And for the final 
chord we got an E major 7. For this I got the index finger once again on the 7th fret, okay, on the 7th fret. And then I bring down, a very, very easy actually, bring down um, the ring finger to the 9th fret of the 4th, middle finger to the 8th fret of the 3rd, and pinky finger right here on the uh, ninth fret of the second. So, so now with the first chord I play just the sixth, and then I and then I go. What I do, check this out. I, I strum it up to the second fret. Second string, and I bring my pinky down to the ninth fret of the second. Then I play the first string, which is already on the seventh fret. Pinky down to the ninth fret, and then I go to the next chord. So for that, I play the entire chord up to this first string, and I hammer on to the eleventh fret of the first string with the pinky. Remove the pinky and play the first string. 12th fret of the second string. Remove the pinky and naturally right there we got the ninth fret of the second string. So right, so you can practice just that. similar thing but in this chord the same thing so do you see what I'm doing here this time I'm not gonna do this time I just play this and I do it here see I am playing the chord up to the second string and then I play the pinky on the seventh fret first string fourth fret and then with the pinky on the 6th fret of the 1st string and now the final chord I play it up to the 2nd string and I remove the pinky and I bring it down to the original position which is on the ninth fret I remove it again and I play it now I bring the pinky into the ninth fret of the 3rd and then I remove it and naturally right there we got the 8th eight, fret of the 3rd string and that's it starts with the actual lick that we have. That's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. There's a link in the description, so make sure you click on it or tap on it to download the tab. As usual, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for daily guitar lessons. And uh, one last thing, I would love to know, what's your favorite song of 2019 so far? I mean, it hasn't probably not even been like a month, right? Depending on when this lesson is released. But anyways, leave a comment down below with your answer. Thank you so much for watching.